Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be organizing my accessories shelf. As you can see, it's pretty messy, but I did pick up this cute organizer from Home Goods and it was only $20 for this huge container. Luckily, I didn't even measure it, but it fits perfectly in my shelf. So, I'm excited. It comes with these labels, as well as these drawer dividers, um, which I'll open up at the end, and you can see how it fits into the drawers perfectly. And I'm not really sure what these are. But yeah, this is my shelf and I have all these boxes that contain event jewelry. So my game plan is to basically take out everything that you see here, wipe down the shelf um, to clean it from any dust, and then I'll put in the organizer and then we start organizing. Let's get to the time lapse. So here we have the dividers that I mentioned earlier. They're super easy to use and all you do is simply attach it where you want your drawer to be divided into and then you just push it down but you want to make sure that they're even on both sides and it just simply clips into place and it's really convenient because it keeps my boxes from sliding back into my other earrings. So this is the finished look. I have some of these chokers and necklaces that I usually keep on these DIY sort of makeshift holders. I'm planning to find some actual hooks to hook them onto, but for now, this will do. At the top, I have my face mask, my comb, and also some chokers that I don't normally go for. I'll keep them in the back there. And then the top drawer, I have my bobby pins and any various hair clips that I have. And then I'll have my bandanas and also more designer looking hair clips and hair bands and at the bottom I'll have some of these event jewelries for formal events that I don't normally reach for but I'll keep them in the boxes and wrapping paper so that they don't get dusty or anything but I don't normally reach for these so I'll keep them here now onto these smaller drawers. At the top, I have various sizes of hoop earrings. And then on the right, I'll have a lot of these elegant looking dangly earrings. Same for this next drawer, and I have an ear cuff in here as well. Over here, I have some pearl earrings, a random Christmas bell earrings, uh, random stars. A lot of these pearl necklaces and anklets. Over here I have my bracelets. I have various types so I just threw them all in here. Then next I have all of my long necklaces as well. Then I have clips, hair clips, hair elastics. And then the bottom drawer I have a lot of my studs and huggy earrings. The last one I have the earring studs and earrings that I reach for a lot and so this is just easy access for me to have here. 
I also added this really pretty aesthetic jewelry box. I also organized the bottom shelf and I didn't plan to so I didn't film the before but this is the after. I have a lot of my products that I normally reach for. The organizer that I had earlier for the top drawer so I just decided to repurpose them and use them for my daily rings and bracelets. These are some of the things I usually reach for, scrunchies as well as my wristwatch and some various pins for my coat. Also my shades in the back. And then I have this headband holder as well that was also DIY. But yeah, these are the two shelves that I finished. Um, the top shelf is for another time. I don't know if I want to film that one. I don't really have a plan for how that one's going to look yet, but we'll see. And the bottom, I have my curling iron straightener and basically my Kit Kat snack station. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.